at the age of 13, tuning in at a show called Bandstand, saying, I could dance better than that. And the Italian said, Stata zit. I was not supposed to open my mouth. But my uncle was married to my Aunt Mim, who was Irish. And she smiled. And I knew that she's still alive today, by the way. And I knew that she knew that I would sneak in the bandstand and I would dance. I won the dance contest. And he came around, what's your name? Jerry Blavitt, where are you from? South Philadelphia, beep, beep, pop, up. Congratulations. Went back the next day, the next day, and won another dance contest. He said, you can't get into the dance contest because people are going to think that this is fixed, okay? But we're going to make you the head of the dance committee, which means you will select the dancers because you know who the good dancers are. Bob Horn would be getting these national records, the cover records, Pat Boone, Ain't It a Shame. I, as the head of the committee, one of my duties was select records for rate the record. So Bob Horn would say, here's Pat Boone's new record. Here's Georgia Gibbs' new record, Tweedledee D. I say, Bob, that's not the real deal. Tweedledee D is by Laverne Baker. Ain't It a Shame is by Fats Domino. Tutti Frutti is by Little Richard, not Pat Boone. He says, well, how come I don't know this? And he would say, the promotion man, well, and the promotion man would say, well, this is the national record that was covered. And he was the first disc jockey on television to play the actual recording before it was covered. When Dick Clark came along, that practice stopped. There was no more cover records because when Dick would take a record by Frankie Avalon called Venus on a little cockamamie label called Chancellor and play it, and it was heard nationally, the national labels did not have a chance to cover this little label. 